Hi friends, welcome back to HDL Lectures. Today we are going to look how to view the primary groups available in Tally and how to create a new group in Tally. So let us start. First of all, open the Tally and open the company who you want to create the group. And then in the gateway of Tally, you can see an option here, display. Let's click that. When you reach the display menu, you can see an option here, list of accounts. Click on that. This is a report stating list of ledgers. Go to the right side and you can see name groups here. Click on that. Then the heading is changed to list of groups. These are the groups which are primarily available in Tally. Now I am going to create a new group in the current liability outstanding expenses. In default, there are three groups under current liability. Now I want to create one more group under current liability that is outstanding liabilities. So let's see how to make it. First of all go back to gateway of tally. In that go to accounts info under the masters heading. There you can see groups. Click on that. Under the groups there are two options. One is single group and other is multiple groups. If you have only one group to create or display or alter, you can go for single group option. And if you have multiple groups, more than one groups to create, then you have to go for multiple groups. Now I have only one group, a current liability that I will create in single groups. Then we will go for multiple groups with other group creation. So under the single group you can see create. Click on that. Group creation tab is open. There I want to give the name of the group. I am going to create outstanding expenses. Then click on enter and come to the under. Here I will place this outstanding expenses under current liabilities. We don't have to change any of the features that is available here. So we just go and save this. Now my outstanding expense ledger is created. Let's see whether it's created or not. Go back to gateway of tally, then display, list of accounts, groups. Here you can see now under the current liability before there was only three groups now we have one more groups that is outstanding expenses. Now let us see how to create multiple groups. So for this I am taking the group investments. In this group I want to create current investment and non-current investment. So let's see how to create that in multiple group. Go back to gateway of tally account info groups multiple groups okay so here multiple group creation tab is open here they're asking under which group you want to create the new group so i'm selecting investment now i'm going to create the subgroup that is current investment and non current investment okay after this I just can enter and save this but I'm going to give you another option to create under multiple groups that is let's not save this I am just giving no here and I'm just coming back to this multiple group creation once again create here before I have just selected under group investments but now I am going to select all items. If I select all items, then what happens? Let's see. Current investment. Under current investment, when I select under, here they will ask the under. Now I will select investment. Before when I select the investment, 
as a group then this was not asked because they know that you want to create the group under investment but now since you have selected all items when you create each groups they will ask you the under the easy thing is that you can create multiple groups which is lying under different heads there is no issue okay so now i am creating non current investment that is also under investments then i just save now you can see i have created three new groups let's go back to game of tally then display then list of accounts then groups now you can see the first thing is outstanding expenses it is there then under investments there are two new groups current investment and non-current investment this is the way how you create a group in tally let us go back to KB of tally then go to accounts info groups here in the single groups you can see after creation there is display and alter let's see what are these options under display when you go you can see all the groups that are available in tally you can just view the groups whether their features and all this you can view in this display option let's see uh, the outstanding expense which I have already created I select that then I can see all the features uh, what is under what is a uh, group behavior and all this you can see in the display option you cannot edit anything under display option now if you want to edit any groups you will go for alter then I am selecting outstanding expenses and I want to change the name into outstanding liability instead of expenses I am changing this as liabilities okay that is current liability there is no other changes then I can save now my outstanding expense is replaced with outstanding liability this is how you alter or edit the existing groups now multiple groups also have the same feature display and alter when you select display in multiple groups then you can see uh, when you select suppose uh, I am selecting the investments then you can see when you select this investment you can see all the groups that are created under investments if I select all items I can see all the groups that is there in the tally there are some primary groups there are some subgroups okay this is results and surplus in capital account all this and you can see the group which we have created that is current investment non-current investment outstanding liabilities the same way you can edit the multiple group by altering uh, let's see all items then if you want to change any name or anything then you can change it here now suppose i have a outstanding liability here i just rename it as before i can just change it here itself expenses so in the multiple alteration you can alter as many groups as you want okay so with this we have studied the features of groups in tally so friends thank you thanks for watching if you really like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the like button and share to your friends who are looking for a tally classes also Please click on the bell icon if you want to get notifications as and when I add video on my channel.